Why, hello there. This enclosure that you see right behind me is home to my pair of Vietnamese mossy frogs. Now, Vietnamese mossy frogs are one of my personal favorite frogs, and in my opinion, one of the coolest frogs on the entire planet. Now, as you can see, this enclosure is not looking so well. It was once a beautiful paludarium, but it has since fallen apart. So today I'm going to bring you along with me and we are going to test my skills and see if I can make the ultimate Vietnamese mossy frog paludarium. So without further ado, um, let's get right into it. Now, as usual, the first thing we need to do to get this started is look at the enclosure. Done. This is the enclosure that I originally had set up for them. It's a custom made front opening enclosure. If you wanna go check out that video, I'll link that in the description. And overall, it's not bad. It's functional, but it's not as stable and it's not exactly what I want for this project. I'll show some clips up on screen. You can see that some of the latches are just falling apart and like the hinges and stuff. It's just, it's really flimsy. And overall, I just don't think it's gonna work. Now I thought about buying one and I did actually buy one for this project, but unfortunately I ordered the wrong size and I can't find the right size for a reasonable price. So I'm going to convert this yet again, but this time I'm going to make it much better. But in order to make it much better, the first thing we need to do is uh, go to the garage. Actually, I'm just kidding. We don't need to go to the garage at all. In fact, the first thing we need to do is dismantle this tank. So let's dismantle this tank. I first started off by getting a five gallon tank and then putting a filter in it. This is so that I can set the frogs up in something temporary. I then added a few stones and some plants. Then I drained the water that's in their current setup and added it to this temporary one. Then I went on to get the actual frogs and move them into the temporary enclosure. With the frogs moved, I started dismantling the scape, like taking out all the hardscape and whatnot. Then I got the actual tank off of the stand. So now it's actually time to go to the garage. Okay, we're here in the garage. Continuing to dismantle it, I finished things off by removing all of the background silicone as well as the drip wall feature. So now that we're at this point with the tank, I got it all cleaned up. All the silicones off, the backgrounds off. I did save a few pieces because they were bigger and I thought I might as well just keep them just in case. Um, and then I, I did take this outside. I went and washed it off a bit, just cleaned it up as good as I could. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it will allow us to move on to the next step, which is the next thing we need to do. So the next step is, I don't know if any of you saw the red eyed tree frog video that I did. I think it was the first one I did. I'll link it in the description. But the way I converted that tank was I basically broke the top of that tank or the side of it in this case. I cleared that out and then I replaced it with a window screen mesh lid. So that's the next step we're gonna do. So um, let's, uh, let's. The first thing I did was move the tank onto the ground. Now this can get dangerous, so make sure you're wearing safety glasses so you don't hurt your eyeballs. Then go ahead and smash your glass with a hammer. This can also be quite loud, so make sure you wear ear protection. And that's how you shatter a tank. Okay, so now that the glass is removed and I still have all of my fingers, just kidding. It's just a Sharpie. Okay, so the next step we need to do is I need to actually make the mesh lid for this thing. Now, the way that I make a mesh lid for this thing... I started by marking for where to cut on the window screen piece. Then I took it over to a vise and cut it with a hacksaw. I repeated this process three more times so that I could get a full frame. I then assembled it. Once it was assembled, I could add some window screen mesh over top of it and then use some spline and a spline roller to help keep things in place. Then I went to put the whole piece into the tank and it was a nice snug fit, but I wanted to further secure it, so I ran a bead of silicone along the line. Okay, so it is now the next day and our silicone is secured, meaning our mesh lid is complete. Now the next step in converting this thing is, well, I don't actually know. And honestly, I don't really have a solid plan for what I'm doing here. I'm kind of just making it as I go. But I have a general idea and I kind of want to do it like I did the DIY reptile enclosure, the one that I used for my crested gecko, and where the door is kind of that like glass panel surrounded in the trim. Now the main reason that I'm converting this differently, and honestly the main reason that I'm completely redoing this tank anyway, is because the last one, like the whole door mechanism was just so unstable, it broke probably close to six times, and I hadn't even had it up for a year. So I really wanted to redo that and make it stronger and better and last longer. Now, as I said, I don't have a plan for this, and right now me has no idea what he's doing, but future me probably does, so take it away, future me. Thanks, past me. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I have a wooden dowel that I measured and cut to size. I repeated this process a couple more times to basically build a sort of frame around the full thing that will not only hold the door, but it'll also give me a place to mount hinges and handles and all that good stuff. 
Anyway, I repeated this process with a few more wooden dowels just to make sure that all the pieces fit. Then I went outside and I got a few of them. I ran them through the table saw to carve a little channel along them. That way I could actually fit the glass pane inside of the pieces of wood. Then to cover the actual rim of the tank, I did the same thing except I cut a few thinner pieces from the actual wooden dowels. That way it would just give me a little more mounting surface to like mount screws and hinges, but it'll also be a little more aesthetically pleasing. Before attaching all the pieces, I went and removed all of the silicone from the outside of the bottom pane of glass. Hey there, come look at this. So I'm gonna take a little pit stop just to see how we're doing and explain to you guys what my plan from here is. So overall, I think it's looking pretty good right now. It's pretty solid. I like the look of it. I like the shape of it. I decided not to put that panel back up there just because I think it'll be easier. But anyways, the next step would be attaching all of these and adding the door. But before I do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and stain all of these pieces because that's my plan is to stain these, my usual stain color. And I'm going to do that now just because it's going to be easier to do that now than when they're actually on the tank itself. So I'm going to go ahead and stain these and then I'll get all the parts attached except for the parts that are going to be with the door because I have to cut the glass and actually get that in there first. So uh, let's stain it and then let's uh, attach these things to the tank. Like I said, I started staining each piece individually. I could have used the same paint that I have for the stand, but I kind of want to transition all of my stuff to stain because I just like the look better. Then I went with some sandpaper and sanded the rim just to give it a better adhesion. Then using some super glue, I went and started attaching all of the pieces in the corresponding locations. Okay, so now that we have the tank to this point, I'm actually really happy with the way that it's turning out so far. I was honestly really hesitant when I had decided to make my own. I really wanted to buy one just because I was so worried that like it wasn't gonna look good, it was gonna be hard to do, it wasn't gonna be sturdy. And so far it looks really good. It's actually not been that hard to do. It's taken a little while, but just again, this is my first time doing it, so next time will be much easier. And then I guess we'll just see about stability. But the next thing we need to do now is cut this main glass piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get my glass pane that I have, I'm gonna lay it on this, take some measurements and stuff, I'll cut that. And then I'll get it in and then this time when I put the glass in I'm going to put silicone in the little ridge where the glass will be and then I will also put silicone around the edge where the glass kind of touches the wood just to make it super secure and super strong and then I'll also wood glue the pieces of wood together just to make sure that they don't go anywhere. So starting with my pane of glass, I removed it from the package, then I took some measurements and then I started cutting. When I'm doing this, I'm applying pressure to the actual glass. Then I take it along the edge and I snap it off to get a clean piece. I repeated this one more time before adding all of the trim pieces and using super glue because apparently I didn't have wood glue, but it will hold, to attach all the pieces together. To further secure things, I added some painting tape around the edges of it, leaving a little bit of a gap that I then ran some silicone along. This will just help hold it in place and just make it stronger overall. As for the hinges, I measured and then marked where I wanted the hinges to be, then I set them in place and started pre-drilling some holes. Once I had the holes pre-drilled, I went ahead and added some screws to lock everything in place. Hey there! Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'm gonna leave it here. As of right now, this project has already taken me over a week and I really just, I'm gonna split it up into two parts, I think. Just because it's taking so long and it's such an involved process. As for the tank, I'm really, really happy with the way it turned out. I had a few hiccups along the way, including a few broken pieces of glass. But in the end, I got it done, and then I unfortunately lost the footage, but for the latch, I found this really cool piece. It's almost like it was made for this, which is crazy, because like I didn't even buy this piece. I have a little box of junk screws and pieces, and I literally found two of these in here. I put it on, and it's like perfect. It's the perfect size, perfect shape. It like, it's got even a little like notch on it as a handle. It's crazy. I'm probably gonna paint that black or some other color. If you have any questions about this build or anything that I maybe didn't show in the video, make sure to leave those down in the comments. Next week, I will be working on the background as well as hardscape and planting the tank. Probably going to be finishing that up. But that's going to do it for this video. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next week.